Hi everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So today is getting the door portal into the shipping container. So I have three ideas for that. The first one, let me rotate, is to rig up the fork trucks onto the top of the board using ratchet straps, set it up and then lift it up way up by the top. So uh, that was right at the end of my limit of that. My second option and the one that I'm going to do first is I'm going to put these boards in here where I believe I can pick them up. I'm going to roll this up and put it on top of the step. And then I only have six or eight inches. So I think four post, uh, two by six and a log, maybe uh, 200 pounds. I could probably squat that and get that up without too much of a risk. And the third one, of course, is to put you horses in a harness and have you pull them up Amish style. What you all think of that? Um, they've never seen a lick of work in a day in their life. Let me feed these guys first, though. It is it is their dinner time, and so they'll be in my in my business if I don't feed them. So let's get that done. All right, let's prep this thing. Now I know some people would say, Steve, why don't you get a friend to help you? I don't got no friends, none. Horses, I they're not really. I, no friends but you, my lovelies, my internet buddies, my pals. Y'all be my safety officer while I'm out doing this. I don't want to get hurt. Put you on hold so I got to stand there to catch that end board and a stand there. And then I'm going to go get a stand here and put those down there. So I can scooch that all forward. Maybe I'll rotate that table around. I'm gonna take some steps. You know, I could get the fork truck under there and support that too. That would be smart. That would be smart. Anyway, I'm gonna take a lot of precautions. And if I try to pick that up the first time and uh, I say there's no way, then I will get the fork truck under it and I'll use, uh, let me rotate. See those eyelets right there? That's where I'll put those come along straps. And so between the whole situation, I'll be able to safely get it up. So I do wish I had a safety officer out here, but I'm really excited to get this up. And so I charge it forward. Mm, all right. So hopefully the wind won't blow that off. So let me get my bricks down in here. Let me get the bracing on here. Well, I've got the bottom in. <laughs> it is snug. It is snug. Let me go ahead and keep working. All right. That is definitely a snug fit. Now that board fit, but I'm wondering if the heat of the day made the dimensions expand. If you've been watching my channel, you know that there's an old secret that I use, and it's called dish soap. So when things are super snug like that, I'll get some dish soap, and I'll put it along the edge there, and that'll let that slide in without uh, splintering the uh, 
cedar. So I don't want to break that cedar floor plate. I want to keep it. So I'm a little dawn to the rescue. How tight that is. Alright, but that's good. I like it tight. But I don't want to break anything. So originally I was thinking of uh, if I miss that top by an inch of coming up with some way of shimmying it up from the bottom. I don't know about that idea. I'll have to revisit that. But I'm committed right now, so let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and get a strap started from there down to there. I think I've got a little bit of forks. I can get it up a little bit before that strap, but let's find out together. All right, here's, here I go lifting it. Well, back to my idea of those. So I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna put, I was gonna put a post or something there to hold it, but I think once I get the straps, I could just keep walking it back and forth. But uh, way beyond my ability to pick up. I don't know what I was thinking. about 15 or 20 minutes to rig up the rigging so I have a ratchet strap from there and then to a piece of conduit that's punched through the uh, the system and that one I don't have anchored to anything yet but I have two posts on this side so I'm less concerned so I'm gonna turn on my uh, fork truck that's in pretty well and slowly work this up until those become an obstacle. If I need to cut them, you know, when I get up there, that I will. But I think if I get it 90% up and I can uh, ratchet strap it, then I'll feel good pushing it manually. We'll find out. I'm gonna go tighten up that safety strap right there. That seems like good and I'll keep just walking it up a little at a time. All right, safety strap is tightened. I got uh, three and a half foot there to close up. It's still down there pretty well. I didn't break anything yet except that one board. Hold out, just created some character, that's all. All right, back into the fork truck I go. I'm gonna unloosen the safety straps. You can look at it from the other side. 
I like that. That worked out uh, okay. So, all right. So here we are. So this strap here, I'm just gonna get out of the way. I don't think I need it at all anymore. Just throw it out. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten it up to there. That seems reasonable to me. All right, so here we are, secured ratchet straps are there, ratchet straps are there. That is officially in. I'm gonna pull that fork truck out of here now. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home, officially done with perhaps the diciest thing I've done so far. Well, raising them up was the first dicey thing, but. Getting in that door lintel. I, I have a Walter Mitty moment where I thought I could muscle it up, but I gave up on that fast. So I am a teachable man. Rotate. So there we go. I have it all up in there. And as I suspected, there's a gap up there. But I decided I'm going to close that up with a piece of uh, black painted metal. And that way I can drill some holes in the metal and go down into the log. So I'm fine with that. Uh, I will go ahead and, and live with that. Originally, I was going to put a spacer down here and raise that up and just wedge it the heck up in there. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to uh, do that piece of metal. I have to mount these with uh, lag bolts to the shipping container box, which I'll do. Ah, looks good, everybody. All right. So like, subscribe, follow me along. This is Steve at Thousand Year Home. The last thought is, if you're doing this uh, without drywall in your way, there's lag bolts or uh, rings, lag rings on the bottom there where I could have uh, more easily have put my safety straps. So, but it's up in there and it's, it's safe till I get it all screwed together. Thanks, like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye. No, oh, so you think you could just slap me in the head? You get away with that. You're the most dangerous thing today. Die! Oh, well, or not. Die! 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 What? <laughs> die! Die! Why won't you die? Very clever little tree. Very clever. I was good to you. I let you hang around. I wasn't bad to you. Look what you did to me. Why won't you leave me alone? Why? Ah! Ah! One last slap in my face. <laughs>